Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Wendy and I'm with Inspire Ministries and as always, I'm so glad that you have landed on today's video. You know, oftentimes here on my channel, I talk about things that are challenging, things that are difficult. I always pose before us a new way of thinking. And one of the things that I wanted to share with you today are five practical ways that we can examine our spiritual growth. Five ways that we can ask ourselves these questions at the end of the day, have a conversation with God and ask him, how am I doing? So that we know how we are doing in our spiritual walk. So if this is a video that interests you, let's just get right in. First of all, you'll have to excuse me. I have had a cold for the last several days, so I don't normally sound this stuffed up, but I'm going forward in my week anyway, and I wanted to bring this video to you today. Today, I want to talk about five practical questions that we can ask at the end of our day so that we can know where we stand, spiritually speaking. And I think it's really important for us to consider these questions because it's interesting always to find out that we are really further along spiritually than we think we are, or maybe we're not as far along in our spiritual walk as we would like to be, but these are five questions that we can ask ourselves. You know, scripture says in 2 Corinthians 13, 5, out of the Amplified, because I love the way the Amplified reads for this particular verse, it says, test and evaluate yourselves to see whether you are in the faith and living your lives as committed believers. It says, examine yourselves, not me. Or do you not recognize this about yourselves by an ongoing experience that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you fail the test and you are rejected as counterfeit. I love this because this sets us up for a need that we have to examine our lives as believers. You know, so often we read scripture or we get done with a Bible study or we do a small group study study with those we are in small group with, and we tend to just put it on the shelf, say, well, we've, we can check mark that, we've done that, we've read that, we've studied that, and it's time to move on to the next thing. But so often we fail to really examine our ways. Are we being changed by what it is that we've read? Are we being made new? Are we being transformed by the renewing of our minds? So it's very, very important for us to get these truths into our bones and to ask God, examine me, God. Look at my life. Am I doing what I need to do? Am I, am I actually living by these truths that I've studied? In Matthew 7, 21, Jesus says this out of the New King James Version. He says, not everyone one who calls to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. I love this so much because Jesus gives us an indication here that not everyone who calls on the Lord by name will actually inherit the kingdom of God. He says it's only those who do the will of the Father in heaven who will inherit heaven for themselves. And so really, this gives us great reason to examine our lives, check ourselves, and to ask ourselves these questions at the end of every day. You know, Job asks this really interesting question of God according to Job 13, 23 in the Amplified. He says, how many are my iniquities and sins that so much sorrow should come upon me? He says, make me recognize and understand my transgression and my sin. I love this. This is a big, bold prayer. This is one of those prayers that we have every reason to pray for in our lives for ourselves. God, show me the ways that I have made mistakes. Show me the ways that I've messed up. Show me my sin because I might not recognize it. I want to be made to recognize and understand the places that I have fallen short. 
You know, the psalmist said in Psalm 119, 59, he says, when I think on my own ways, I turn my feet to your testimonies. When I think on my ways, when I think of all of the things that I have done wrong, when I think of the ways that I have blatantly sinned against God, when I think about the ways in which I have turned from him and didn't mean to, or when I've done things that I know would dishonor him, the psalmist said, I turn my feet to your testimonies. I turn my life around and I go in the direction that you're calling me to go. Lamentations 340 says this in the NIV, let us examine our ways and test them and let us return to the Lord. I remember doing a writing on this years ago called Examine, Test, and turn. That we need to examine our ways, ask God, test me in the very thing that you have been teaching me in the scriptures. Test me on that that I have been being taught so that I know whether or not I am learning and growing and what work that I have yet to do in my spiritual life. So what are the five questions that I believe that we ought to practically ask ourselves at the close of every single day? Well, the first one, and are you ready to write them down? The first one is this, has God been supreme in my life today? Has God been supreme? Have I put him first? Have I put him in the core center of my life? So many times we are tempted to live compartmentalized where we say, okay, in the morning I have my quiet time with him. But as soon as I close that Bible and I go outside to my job or to my workplace or to my school or wherever it is that I'm going, I act a fool and I forget about my life with Jesus. That is not how we are supposed to live as believers in Christ. We are supposed to live as though he is with us all day long. So we are talking to him. So we are having a relationship with him so that we are ongoingly conversing with him. So think about that. Is God the supreme in my day? Has he been front and center in my day today? Number two is, have I lived to the glory and the honor of God? Have I lived to the glory and the honor of God? That means everything that I have said and every decision that I've made and every action step that I've taken, I've done all of it to the glory of God. Every decision that I've made in my day, every choice that I have chosen in my day, I've done it as unto the Lord for his glory and his glory alone. Can I say that? And listen, it's not to shame us. It is to show us the places where we still need to grow spiritually. So first one was, has God been supreme in my life today? Number two, have I lived to the glory and the honor of God? Number three, do I know God better? Do I know God better? I love this so much because one of the heartbeats of my ministry is to point you to the life of Jesus. Whenever anybody says, I don't know where to start reading in the scriptures, I always point them to the scriptures. And more specifically, I point them to the book of John because I believe that John gives us a great illustration of who Jesus was. Do we know him for ourselves? Are we learning more about his character, about his promises, about how Jesus Jesus walked among us, how he made choices, how he loved people, how he showed grace, how he offered mercy and forgiveness to people. Do we know him? Do we know him? I told somebody recently, every Christian ought to be able to answer this one question, and that is, what is God saying? What is he saying? And the only way that we will know what he is saying is by reading what he has written, by reading the scriptures, because because this is his voice. So do I know God better? Have I spent time with him today? Have I learned a new character trait about him? Have I learned more about his promises and what he is saying to me as a child of God? Have I learned about God? Do I know God better? Number four is, have I zeal and passion for his honor and glory? In other words, am I passionate about him? Am I, do I have zeal and do I have excitement about his honor and glory? Listen, it's one thing to just do it because it's something that we feel like we need to do, but is it the joy of our lives? Do we delight in his presence? Do we delight by making him happy 
and making him proud of us? Is that the one focus that we have for our day? Do I have excitement about my faith? Am I excited to share with others about my journey in my faith walk? Do I have this passion for him, a passion for his son, a passion for his word, and a passion to hear his voice? This is something that we have to ask ourselves every day is have I a zeal and a passion for his honor and glory. Again, not just something that I do because it's law or do because it is an expectation, but I do it because I delight in him. I told somebody the other day who is struggling with an active sin that she finds that she can't get from underneath. I said this, don't focus so much on not sinning. Focus more on loving God more, of pursuing his heart, of having a passion for his word. Because when we love him more, over time, those natural inclinations that we have to sin will fade away. Why? Because we are elevating our love and our reverence for God. And then the fifth and final one is this. Has there been anything in me that has been unlike Christ today in my thoughts, in my imaginations, in my desires, in my impulses? Is there anything in me that has made him unhappy? Is there anything that has made him frown upon me today? Is there anything that is separating me from Jesus? Is there anything in me that is causing me to look nothing like him? Because the goal of being a follower of Christ is to look more like the one we're following, who is Christ. And so I have to ask myself at the close of every day, what happened today? What things did I do that caused me to not look like you today? Was there anything in me that needs to be fixed? Is there anything in me that needs to repent? Is there anything in me that is literally separating me from the full life that Christ died for me to have. So let's just run down those again very quickly. Number one, has God been supreme in my life today? Number two, have I lived to the glory and the honor of God? Listen, this might be the hardest one. That might mean that I'm going to have to forgive that person that hurt me, but I'm not doing it for them. I'm not doing it for me. I'm mostly doing it for the glory and the honor of God. Can we say that everything in our day today, tomorrow, and for the rest of our lives is unto the glory of God? Number three, do I know God better? Number four, have I zeal and passion for his honor and his glory? And number five, very important. Has there been anything in me that has been unlike Christ today? Anything that is in my thoughts, in my action steps, in my imaginations, in my desires, in my natural inclinations and impulses? Is there anything that has made me unlike the very one whom I claim to follow and love and serve? Friend, I hope that this has been a challenge for you today, but I hope that these will be questions that you will pose before yourself at the close of every single day. Listen, the whole entire point of being a Christ follower, the whole entire point of getting into the word and of strengthening our faith is to know Jesus more and to really say, Am I better than I was yesterday? Am I better than I was last week? Am I making steps of faith? Am I headed in the right direction? Am I learning and growing as a result of what it is that I'm studying? Or is it just a check mark that I am getting satisfaction from checking off? I want to be changed and renewed from the inside out. And the only way that I can know if I am doing those is to ask myself questions just like this. Maybe you have your own questions that you ask of the Lord. If you do, I would love to hear about it in the comment section down below. If you have liked this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Would you share it with someone who you know and love? As always, I am so grateful that you are here. I love hearing from you. I love that we have already grown this channel so much in the last few weeks, and I thank you for being a part of that. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already done so, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be 
be notified for every time that I upload content just like this one. I love you, friend. I am praying for you. And between now and my next video, I pray that you have an awesome day with Jesus. Bye, friend.